Hello, my classics, and I am so sorry for my extended absence. I got really sick. Like, full on cold, dizzy spells. I actually tried to film this video before and passed out. I did not like that. I spent a week sick, and you can still hear it every so often in my voice, but I'm getting better. I am, I'm, I'm on the mend. I am doing today Google Picks My Makeup Challenge. And the picture that I found on Google when I typed in my first initial of my first name and my first initial of my last name and then look into the Google Images search bar, this picture popped up for me. So I'm going to try to recreate that on my face. Face. I've already done like the first few layers because that never changes. I did my eyebrows, I, I did my foundation, primer, um, concealer, so we're good there. But I've got, this is like, because this has um, some earthy tones to it too. I mean I know I see the bright blue shirt and I see the black shirt with the red lettering, I see the terracotta red brick, but I also see some browns in there on the ground. I'm, I'm literally looking at the picture on my phone and the, the pink, you know, but I see the earth tones and that's like a good moment to be able to pull out, is this the one? Yes, Nature Glow palette that I got. It's a Morphe palette. I'm um, sorry, my hands are covered in powder, so it's covered in powder now too. I'm going to try to incorporate the pink and the blue and the red and oh my gosh, it's going to get weird. Almost as weird as Nikki Tutorials. And I think she started it. I watched it. I loved her picture with the colors, the bright colors. No, go watch that video. I'm not gonna have a link because I suck at that, but go watch her video too because it was good. Not like anybody needs me to tell her to tell people to watch her video. She's one of the biggest gurus out there. But I'm basically up to eyes. So I think I'm going to start this journey by grabbing a simple, blurring brush because this is a blurring brush but I never use the brushes for what they're supposed to be used for anymore and it's a little dusty on the edges because I've, I've swatched some things I think I wanted to go in with this color right here as a transition shade I think that that'll match the ground a little bit so I'm just gonna pat that and just little swoops when I tried to do this last time I made it through about half of an eye and I tell you, it wasn't pretty. I messed it up so bad. I think you guys would have been ashamed. Like, I was ashamed. I was ashamed of it. Actually, really, really humiliated. I'm not exactly pleased with how this is turning out yet. Already so far, I'm gonna... There we go. A little powder. Cover that up. So I think that that's all I need from that palette because I'm going to need pinks and blues. So I'm going into my Colorburst palette for Morphe. This is not sponsored by Morphe. However, if they want to sponsor me, call me. My business email is down below. And, uh, well, their blue is a little bit darker than the blue that's here, even though there's a shimmery version too, which works for the girl's shirt. So I'm going to mix the blue with the navy blue. And I'm going to try to like press that into the edge over here. I'm trying some new techniques today. So if this goes horribly, horribly wrong, I'm sorry. I just noticed I have the right blue. It's up here, but it kind of looks like a purpley blue to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that rather than trying to mix two colors just right. It wasn't giving me the color payoff I wanted. You know, I'm going to try doing that thing where they, they spritz their, they go in with a wet brush and see if that'll give me the stronger payoff. So I'm just going to spritz my brush. FYI, always keep your mouth closed before the, until the mist settles. We've seen in previous videos what happens when you inhale the, into your mouth, the mist. So... Thank you. I'm nicer caffeinated. 
Alright, now that's giving us a better payoff, I think. This looks kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to make it less um, non-spotty, you know? It's tricky. I'm gonna have to clean my brushes off after using such a bold color. Mm -hmm. I think that's as good as this, this part's gonna get. I need to start bringing in other colors to try to do some different things. Let's grab another brush. And now, uh, my fall keeps turning off. Pink is kind of like this powdery, pretty pink. So, I think I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker pink first and then blend in a lighter pink. So I'm going to go into this palette and grab this one which is like my favorite blushy shade and kind of just like, well, pat that. And into that I'm going to kind of blend a couple of these shimmery and the bat one. This is an interesting look. Now I'm going to come in here with this random wet wild brush and grab that shimmer that I told you about. Take it even into the blue. Just on the lower part of the lid. This is turning out interesting. Alright, next I'm going to grab a sort of like brush meant for the under eye. I'm going to start with the lighter color though. I'm going to try pulling that. I'm going to try to connect. I've never done this part before. Where I successfully did an under eye. <laughs> Who knows, this might not be the day. See, this brush is extremely straight and packed. So it's easy to get the product where you want it. And then I'm going to take a brush that's more fluffy that, but small still and blend it. I'm going to try. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Gotta connect the blue. Oh, don't get impatient. That was like really pathetic. I'm gonna have to do the spritz thing. Apparently this blue is not strong without it. Now here's that brush I was talking about, but it's really fluffy. I keep shoving it in my eyeball. All right. So well, this is kind of starting to look cool now. Okay, now I don't want to pull in the terracotta because I'm gonna do that with the lipstick. Like the, the brick work. So we're going to do that with the lips so, because this is, I think I'm going to try to do a bit of a, I feel like if I do anything else, I'm going to destroy this and I'm scared because it takes forever to restart and then you guys will never see this footage. Well, maybe I'll add a little bit of glittery. Like, I think that that's all I need to do with this, uh, aside from like eyeliner and mascara. So we're going to get to that part now. Are you scared? I'm always scared when it comes to me wielding this. Because mm, I can make a break. That turned out really pretty. Let's see if I can recreate it on the other side. I'm praying. For even eyes. Even eyes. Come on. Even eyes. <laughs> okay. Mascara. <sighs> Alright, I myself, I don't know why anybody else does it, but I wiggle my brush while I'm putting the mascara on just a little bit because, okay, <clears throat> in the early 2000s when I was in school and high school and stuff, I watched other people, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. But I watched a lot of people with only mascara on the tip of their lashes and like a really smoky eye, so there was like a gap. I live in fear of that gap. That gap's probably equal to ostriches in my fears. But I think anybody who's smart is afraid of ostriches, don't you? Okay. Now we're just gonna get to the rest of our makeup. I baked for like 30 minutes, which is ridiculous, but you know what? That caught all the fallout. 
$1.99. That is a really pretty winged eyeliner. My blush is obviously the usual, which will also bring in the pinks. I'm gonna grab my average uh, brush, which is from Eco Tools. I bought this in a pack of face brushes. I intend to buy more Eco Tools. I did this wrong though. I was supposed to do my contour first. I am actually feeling good today, so. I'm kind of like all out of whack, but I got it back in the swing of things. Okay. There's a nice contour. Not too much. Remember, you don't need to look like somebody sliced your face open. Oh, get out of there, hair. Just getting you back. I need down, because I've gotten a little critique about that, how I leave a, a line. So I blend that down now. Okay, and then highlight. Let's see, this is the, nope, oh no. Not the color burst. We're not gonna dig highlight out of the color burst palette. But we are going to try to dig it out of like here. I'm gonna try, see what I can pull. I'm gonna go into this color. This is like a perfect opportunity for me to test this out. This, ooh, that's pretty. That leaves a, a little bit of something to be appreciated. That is very shiny. Next is lips. Now I'm gonna use my Maybelline Color Stay, the 24-hour one. I have been using this more and I do enjoy it, but I would hear is fun. Feeling negative? This does kinda get gross. And there we have it! Google picked my makeup. What do you think? I think it turned out really good, actually. So, if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe bucket, 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 bucket. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below and make that bell ring loud and proud so you know when I post because I post here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Still again, sorry about the delay. Bye, see you, love you, always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let wind get you down. Don't let wind dull your sparkle. And remember, do it with passion or not at all. I'm going in the hole. I'll never stop. Say bye.